We have had a doozy of a day. What an excellent day for an exorcism. Welcome to the Horror Basement and Beyond with the Big Bob Buddies, Jim Jam and Johnny. I'm one of your hosts, Johnny, and as always, Jim Jam is here with us. Jim Jam here. What is up, everyone? We hope you had a great weekend, a great week. Uh, we are moving in further to spooky season, but it's always spooky season around here. Uh, but Haunted House will be opening soon. And we're super excited about that. We talked about that last week. Uh, yeah, this Saturday coming up. When uh, you see this on Tingler, it'll already be open. River Mortis. Yep. M- M- Manville. Manville. In Manville, Tennessee. will be open. Uh, we're po- talking about going. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it's one of the closest uh, to us because we're like 30 minutes from it. It's the soonest yeah the, so it's the earliest one opening it seems close. to be yeah uh so why not go you know we're we're already pumped and ready 100 percent, 100 percent. plan well hopefully my job i got i got a new job y'all uh but uh i'm probably gonna have to be working saturday so i don't know how that's gonna affect it too much but anyways i can uh, at least do saturday nights yeah saturday nights will be good uh so this weekend we went to the uh, Smoky Mountain Terror convention and uh, it's a first year convention, but the people that put it on are the ones that do the Smoky Mountain Fan Fest. Yeah, so. it's in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh, it was small. There was there's quite a bit of people there, but it was really small. Um, yeah. If if you were really interested in collecting. Uh, signatures would have been good to go to like if you wanted your opportunities to meet Kane Hodder and Bill and Mosley or Michael Tyler Barry. Main, Michael, Michael Berryman uh, Jenna Jameson was there which she didn't show, uh, end up because she missed a flight or something but she didn't end up showing up till like 7.30 Saturday night and was there all day Saturday, Sunday but we was wanting to get a picture with her but like I said, it was a small event, so we only stayed for about an hour, maybe. We talked to our, our good friend, Amanda, uh, yeah, her that, Nightmare nightmare Vixen. Yeah, Nightmare Vixen. Uh, Got this awesome picture. I believe in monsters. Yeah, that's it, freaking awesome. Falling. i got to hang it up. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and first year, they were at a smaller convention center. They didn't have any shirts. I liked their shirts that they had because they were pretty basic yeah with just an outline you know shirt but they didn't have any bigger sizes um uh but i liked it like i said i liked it just because it was a basic outline shirt um but maybe, yeah maybe next year maybe uh after the horror basement boutique relaunches maybe we can show up there because uh it would be cool to just hang around and see you know because it's a whole different crowd because, like, when we do Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival, it's, there isn't a lot of new faces, but a lot of the same faces. Not More more than likely, you're not going to see all them faces at Smoky Mountain. Yeah, and uh, there's a lot of people who come and dress up. and they... jo- Johnny got a picture with Michael, or Minnie Myers, or what was it? Mike? Mickey Myers. Mickey Myers. Um, it, it was cool. Uh, Did there's... you post that picture? Yeah. Okay, so just go to uh, Big Ball Buddy Johnny on Instagram. You can see that picture. Yeah, um, there's like I say, there's a lot of people dressed up. There's the, was like I wonder how many people will be here, and there was a lot. Uh, oh, yeah, it so was, it was cool. Surprised us for being the first year, but I don't guess there's a lot of horror conventions around that area. So uh, yeah, they uh, they showed out for that damn thing. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, we saw the foot foothills Ghostbusters. Um, uh, we got pictures with them. That's on the Big Ball Buddies, uh, Instagram. We got a lot of 
snacks and stuff. So be looking out for that. We got a lot of videos coming up on TikTok and Instagram, YouTube. Uh, we went to Dick Size Resort. Yeah, that was the fun. first time. You see those pictures on the Big Ball Buddies, and we put the video out yesterday for our kind of review because at that point I was really hungry and I didn't even think about it. So as soon as I got my yeah, food, I mean, uh, well, and plus filming everything that you eat or do, like sometimes you just want to enjoy the experience instead of. Um, it was still pretty cool because our waitress Katie B, Katie or something like yeah. that. Yeah, she uh she was really uh fun. It wasn't too, t you know, I've seen some people that they, you know, because it's Dick's Rice Resort, they're dicks to you. But they were pretty cool. You know, sh they throw straws at you if you've never been. They throw napkins and they make you these hats. And mine was like built like a house but hung like a mouse. Yeah. And what was your something about a, uh, you lost all your hair because of Viagra? Yeah, eating too much Viagra causes hair loss. Oh. <laughs> You'll see the picture if you go to our Instagram. Uh, but yeah, she was cool. Um, what else? What was that? Uh, that fly thing that we Skyfly or something. It was like a steampunk thing. Like we went on one of the airships from like a steampunk era type thing. That was fucking cool. Yeah, that it was pretty much in, like if you go down to Orlando to Universal, it's like a ride like that, like three D, not three D, but just where you're engulfed in it. Yeah, I know that, you know, I need to lose weight, whatever. But it would be cool if they had bright, you know, seats for bigger folks. Yeah. Was, I barely fit in there. I did get Johnny to help me. Uh, well, he had to help me get out. But the person had to. Because they want you to pull a, a thing up underneath, it, you know. I guess so you don't slide out the seat. But, yeah, it was no fun. Um, that was really cool. What uh, oh, We did something else, but, was it before that? Oh, we did some bumper cars and. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we did the um, zombie VR. Yeah, zombie VR, which Dumb. was pretty cool. Because you're in like a, it reminded me of a boxing ring, but you're in a big square. But in the video game, there's you actually see the barrier, so you know where to stop. Yeah. Because you'd be running into walls and you see. I guess I was aiming over it because I must have been. Right at the barrier because I I thought you had to walk up to it and shoot yeah and then it had blue a blue line where I was over so I could have been over the fence shooting <laughs> you know what I'm yeah saying? it would have been funny if they were do were videos of you know us uh, just to show us us how we are but you know because we don't see each other really we do see each other's silhouette of from the yeah. end game but that's about it you just see a because we only got one gun yeah. But uh, I did a mountain coaster. Uh, it was a lot of fun. He's got pictures on his uh, Instagram of that. Um, and it said that you could go. I asked the guy, I said, how fast is this fast to see my go? He goes, I think like 30.4. I was going like, they had a time like 29.5. So I was pretty on up Is there. Was there a speed on the carts? I don't know. Um, how will they determine? I don't know. But at the time of the photo... I was in like 29 and a half. So I was going just about as fast as you can go. Yeah. So uh, it was a lot of fun. Going back to, uh, you know, around that area, because yesterday is when we did the, uh, the sky fly and stuff like that in Dick's. But it's in an area called the island in Gatlinburg. And I, you could literally just go there and never leave, just walk around that. Because there is so much, there is so much to do. Maybe, you know, go other places, but I want to stay at the island Margaritaville and just chill over there. And, you know, you you could do it all day right there. I mean, did they have a pool? Mm, probably not. I don't but, know. We oh. spent a lot of time there, uh, but we went to, uh, we drove go-karts before that. Yeah. And then I think we went to the island after that, after the go-karts, right? Yeah, because they got a tram. You park in a parking lot, and they got a tram that takes you over to it. Um, but I looked it up, and for three nights, it was $1,100 at that hotel. And that's why they had a uh, timeshare so, where you spend a couple hours. I talk about like seven days free. So. Yeah. 
I guess it would have been worth it. But then they probably I couldn't see eleven hundred dollars. Uh, like the timeshare thing might have been worth it. That was on during Christmas weekend one, so that might be why. Oh yeah, it was like yeah. I think okay. it was like three hundred dollars. Okay, I was about to say it wouldn't be worth eleven hundred dollars staying over there. Uh -uh. Not in my opinion. I mean, there's some stuff to do. Like what we did with the bumper cars and the mirror maze and the uh, VR. I think it was cool once. Like, I don't know if I'd want to go back. It would be cool uh, to, uh, if someone had, like, maybe a timeshare thing where they give you, like, a bunch of vouchers for to go places and eat, maybe one of them, but then also give you, uh, pay for your room, too. Yeah. I mean, they could easily do that, because there are some people that will buy those timeshares, and that'll pay for it ten times over. Yeah, there's no way uh, I would ever do a, a timeshare, but... Like, if you only had to spend, like, two hours there and got seven days free, it might be worth it. But they probably limit when you can go. I don't know. Uh, but we did the mirror maze. Jim Jam didn't want to do a maze. He don't like mazes. But it was a lot of fun in the mirror maze. That was a lot different, I guess. Because Cause you could walk into yourself. Yeah, it was funny. Because you could still see stuff. But, like, in a haunt, you know, you don't really see much. It's dark. Just, and it's, it gets boring and aggravating. But here, I don't know what it was about the mirror part, but until you wear gloves, so it's not like a cheap-ass uh, fair one or carnival yeah. one where you got oh, and that And it was lit up, so it would cut off. The lights would cut off, and they'd change colors. And then, like, they gave you these, uh, like, 3D glasses or, like, you know, the That's to make it hard fireworks work. glasses that you wear. But... You, it was a lot worse to me because you couldn't really see the mirrors as well because everything was like, kind of like a kaleidoscope. Yeah. And once I took them off, it's like, this is a lot better because you get to enjoy the lights yeah. and the maze. And uh, Mrs. Jim Jam, Mrs. Jam, uh, yeah. she's like, Jimmy. And she, she took like two or three fast steps. Like it wasn't just like, a small stroll, like you know, slowly walk it and walk right into the mirror, and I laughed at her because it looked like you was right there. I mean, like right there in front of us. The way that the mirrors work is crazy. Yeah, because it looks like someone's right there and they're not. Uh, that's what I think. That's why it's was very hard. Sometimes, yeah, it's actually very hard to distinguish. You know what's real and what's not. But yeah, she ran straight. How 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 thick are the mirrors to not bust when the people run into them? Really, but it's just it's funny. Um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we did go. Uh, first night was there. We got pizza from uh, what was it? Gatlin, Gatlin Murray Pizzeria. Well, it was bullshit. As soon as we checked in, we saw uh, the only reason I asked this is because we saw a delivery driver. And then we uh, call to deliver or go online to get delivery. Oh, we don't deliver that area. And we call and they say the same thing. And I was like, oh, I just saw one of your delivery drivers in the, uh, the delivery. Well, it must be over a certain amount. Man, the bag that they carried in didn't look full of pizza. What the fuck? Did they get 700 toppings on this pizza? Yeah. But yeah, um, some bullshit. But it was. Pizza was good. Pizza Gatlinburg or Pizzeria or some shit like that. The pizza was good though, so. So we drove into Gatlinburg. That's where we saw the, uh, they had two uh, mountain coasters side by side. So when we go to go to the Ripley's one, they're like, oh yeah, we're shut down because of lightning. You go to the one before it. Hillbilly Mountain, the Hillbilly one. And they were open, running, so they got us our money. Yeah, and we, we was, I was creeping up the hill. Like the big hill before you you go around a curve and go start going down, and I started hearing thunder. I'm like, yeah, hillbilly don't care. Yeah, no, they don't. They didn't give two shits. Uh, and they had like a plastic thing on it, so if it was raining, if it was lightly raining, you wouldn't even really got wet. So it looked like it would have been fun. It was we, fun. We should we should have went to the one closer to the out the outside of uh, Pitcham Horse. Cause that track looked bigger. Yeah. A lot bigger. But, oh well. You know, there's always other times to go. Oh yeah, for sure. Just know that uh, most of the sky or the mountain coasters 
They're rated for what, 350 and under? Yeah, probably. So, if you're over 350, yeah, unfortunately, you don't, you're not going to be able to ride. It's same with the go-karts. <clears throat> I don't know about weight limit, but I know uh, they ain't too wide. I'll try to get in one. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, just pretty much being able to get in. But it also does factor in. Don't expect to go fast if you're big. So there's a lighter you are, of course, the go-kart's going to go faster. So Yeah, 100%. But, yeah. So, so I guess that was our... Uh, our little weekend getaway. So it's Monday when we're recording this. So uh, Johnny took the day off. Yeah. What do you want to move into first? We have uh, the Big Ball Buddies report. Um, oh, you tell me. Uh, we can go to the. Let's do the. You want to do this one first? Sure. If I can find it on here. So we got Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey sequel images mix Christopher Robert and Al into the horror. Horror, uh, into the, oh yeah. So, no, so we got new pictures of, uh, let me, I'll, go, I'll, I'll just transfer it over once it opens. So here's the, this looks like a totally different mask. Let me get it transitioned. A totally different mask than uh, the first one. So if you notice, it looks like Pooh, the mask has hair on it. And it almost looks like a, a Whoville lay, I don't know, yeah, a, a um, Grinch mask or something, which I, it's not. But What this says is uh, it's going to be bigger and badder. The sequel will feature new creature designs, a new cast. And a high death count. Alright, so look at this. This is supposed to be Owl. Look at the mask. This is a supposed to be an Owl mask. It's essentially a witch mask that they... Took the hair off of. Even the claws and the... Look like... Look at that right there. That's... Yeah, if you're watching, you can see, like... It... I mean, it's a witch's mask. And it has black feathers. And the mask, the mask looks like it's almost. Oh shit! I went the wrong way. What's that? Oh, it's, and then you can see the person's mouth under it. It just. Uh, how does that even at all? Like, come on, really? I don't know. Yeah, it says, "Uh, who's your Scott Jeffrey?" Um. So the sequel has a substantially higher budget, so Riss is really able to create a shocking, explosive, and gore-filled movie. What the fuck are you talking about? You should have spent more on the fucking mask. Because the um, owl mask looks like, damn it. And this mask looks totally different. Let's see if we can find a... Uh, I, I think you're putting uh, your uh, overly... Uh, What's critical of their special effects when it's just a super low budget movie? Oh. It said Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey had like a hundred thousand dollar budget. I'm not accepting it. Um, they they what was it they made? They made six million dollars. See, you could put but, I mean you could put at least five thousand, ten thousand dollars towards this fucking mask right there. Made that just. I know a budget less than a hundred thousand, but just because you make six million, you don't get all that six million dollars. I know there's people so out there that would be love to be a part of this movie and can make a better fucking owl mask. Yeah, but they don't care. They're gonna cut corners any way they can to save money. So I think, like I say, you're being a little over critical on uh, a movie that wasn't that good. To begin with. Well, this mask is not that good either. Well, I mean, the movie's not going to be good. Anyways. So, let's be honest. It's gonna fuck be that a, owl. Like, face. Blue blood and honey. Or you can see the man underneath it or woman, whatever's, whoever's playing it. Shitty ass shit. Anyways, moving on. It's, I don't know why that's affected me so bad. Something that is dear and near and dear to my heart, though. 
move on to this. That's fine. Whatever you want to do. So, Unsolved Mysteries Behind the Legacy Special re- reaches theaters and VOD next month. So, uh, 2022 marked the 35th anniversary of, of the premiere of Unsolved Mysteries TV special, but the show didn't become a full-fledged series until October 5th, 1988. Did you know that? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I guess this is going to have a... Like outtakes and favorite moments and um, I don't know. Uh, I guess just talking about uh, unsolved mysteries. I'm looking forward to this. Kind of like a almost like a documentary of it. Yeah. But you said October fourth. Okay. So that's not too awful far away. Less than a month. I didn't transition over, but there ain't nothing to show really. Pet Cemetery. That's just what I landed on, but we'll go for it. So, Pet Cemetery uh, Bloodlines um, is a new movie that's going to be coming out. Uh, it secured an R rating, which, I mean, why wouldn't it? Uh, what does it say? Uh, be showed at Fantastic Fest, Alamo Trap House. This is exclusive. September 21st to the 28th, and then it will be releasing on Paramount Plus October the 6th. So, I don't know if this is an exclusive, but I don't remember seeing that in the original. Was that dog in the... This is... This is... Um, centers on a young Judd Crandall in 1969 who has dreams of leaving his hometown behind, but soon discovers sinister secrets buried within and is forced to confront a dark family history that will forever keep him connected to the town. Band together, Judd and his childhood friends must fight an ancient evil that has gripped Ludlow since its founding and once unearthed has the power to destroy everything in its path. You know, was that a Wendigo? I mean, maybe. I don't know, dude. Is that, isn't there a Wendigo in them woods? I mean, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, and uh, so this is going off of The Neighbor. It's like an untold story from Stephen King. Like, this is The Neighbor, you know, when... Herman Monster? Yes. Yeah. So it's like his story. Yeah. Which would probably be actually pretty decent. Um, Oh, I've seen this. um, (laughs) Just because uh, I I didn't really care for Pet Cemetery. I thought it was kind of boring. It's kind of crazy. I would, I would kind of like to see his story because he was really good. He's yeah. like a good part of the Pet Cemetery. So, oh yeah. So we'll, we'll go back. Or do, do we want to stay on just? Yeah, a well, we'll go here. Uh, we'll go do a funny video um, or a story. Uh, so you got a bull in a what is that? A Lincoln, Ford, Crown Vic. Oh, Crown Vic. My bad. Riding in the passenger seat. How'd you even get that bull in there? That's what I'm for. So I want to mute, mute it so it don't go. What the? Let me transition over so you can see. That's an old police yeah, look cruiser, at that, but it has lice on it. Got the PO off. Look at this, y'all. There is a that fucking is. bull in this passenger seat of this car. But wait till you see the back. There's shit. Look at all that. Look at them fucking there's shit all down. Look at there's shit all down the side of that car. Best car entry. That is wild. Yeah, that's insane for real. Yeah. Dude. So his name is Howdy Doody. The bull's name is Howdy Doody, and it's been his friend and buddy. Uh, so the the guy had him for eight nine years. Oh, he got let off with a warning. Uh, so he just rides his bull around in his crown bick and yeah, I'm curious to see how and this man shit all over his car. This man is able to get that bull. In yeah, his that's car. wild. Uh, so in uh oh, 
Right here? Yeah. Well, no. Um, I was going to the... Yeah. So in Wales, uh, apparently there's been... Um, these weird Christmas gnomes have reportedly like just appeared on people's... Uh, Uh, on a porch. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the, uh, police over in Wales are saying that, um, be weary of them because, uh, they could be leaving a calling card, uh, uh, like it could be a play thing to mark your house, maybe, I guess, is what they're getting at. Um, Used by burglars, like you know what I'm saying. Like, hey, this is a house. Yeah, yeah, I've seen stuff like, like that. you know, where like they might leave a penny somewhere. Or like in a parking lot, they might tie a ribbon on the door handle or some shit. Yeah, or uh, they mark your house in a way that could say, "Hey, this is the one I'm, I'm talking about robbing." Yeah, you know. Uh, so I don't know. Uh. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but if anybody leaves anything on your front porch, that's kind of odd that you don't know. You should probably be wary of it, anyways. Definitely. Um, don't be. Uh... And I'm not sure if Jim Jam pulled this up since we're already on the um, Christmas time thing. Creep Show Holiday Special Comic Book will introduce the Christmas Man. Uh, so as you know, uh, Creep Show. Um, Creep Show, um, they released uh, last year. There was a release of a comic book series for like um, volume one, uh, consisted of five issues, um, and since been collected in a trade paperback. Well, now volume two will also consist of five issues. We'll start reaching store shelves soon. In the midst of volume two release, there will also be a one shot Creep Show holiday special comic book, and it's going to be the Christmas Man. Like it says, you've heard of Santa, you've heard of Krampus, but have you heard of the Christmas Man? And um, I guess it's a tale of why you shouldn't be a package thief. So, oh, is Christmas Man a package thief? No, I guess the Christmas Man gonna get you because it fucks people that steal packages is the way I took it. Hmm. So, yeah. Uh, you know... Uh, it's like uh, kind of up to date because you got all these people stealing packages, porch pirates, you know. So I guess maybe the Christmas man will come and fuck them up. <coughs> you know how a creep show does. I wonder if he's gonna have a cape. I don't know, maybe. Oh, why would he have a cape? He's a superhero. Oh, Christmas man. Oh, I got you now. <laughs> got you. Like it's Santa cape. Yeah. Fun white fur around the edges of the cape red yeah that'd be pretty funny and like what's that one with uh damon wayans blank is it blank, blank man? man yeah <laughs> yeah if y'all ever seen that and hadn't seen that it's a great movie so moving on uh to some spooky stuff goosebumps will be released and streaming on Friday the 13th, October, Friday the 13th. Hulu and Disney Plus. On Hulu and Disney Plus, huh? So, uh, beware though, your Disney Plus and Hulu subscriptions will be going up in, uh, in October. Um, not because of Goosebumps, but maybe because, you know, it's a great show. Um, and oh, Justin Long's on it. Kids loved it everywhere. You grew up with it. Um, you know what's bullshit is like they make so much money off all these Marvel movies, but yet they gotta jack up the prices. Greedy bastards. Some more motherfucker. Well, yeah, when they got uh you you get new people brought in they just claim, you know which really Disney Plus was super cheap when it first came out, but that's how they get you. You know what I'm saying? They they uh make stuff super cheap and then they raise the prices on you. But yeah, it's going up like the like I had Hulu and I canceled it because uh it was going from like fifteen bucks to like eighteen for ad free and I was just like fuck that. But you can get 
the the rumor is that you'll be able to get Hulu and Disney Plus combined ad free for twenty dollars. Is that that's, is that not crazy? Mm-hmm. So it's pushing you into a bundle essentially. Yeah. So it's either eighteen dollars for Hulu ad free or add two dollars more and you can get Disney Plus for ad free. Which Disney Plus is gonna be like fourteen bucks. So Yeah. So we have Spectrum our internet is Spectrum and then we also got the Spectrum app so we can watch T V, kinda like YouTube T V. They don't have Disney no more. They yeah. dropped Disney. Well they're um since they're going up. Yeah, Disney and um is it's kinda like with ESPN. Uh so Disney owns Fox. No, Disney owns ESPN. Yeah, I think they did buy Fox. Yeah, they did because Fox and and they're trying to raise all their prices because the problem is it's like sports costs a whole lot, and but they got a whole lot of fucking money. Yeah, they're just trying to make more money, man. That's all I care about. Fucking greedier, richer, rich getting richer. But Goosebumps will be released on Friday, October the thirteenth. Um. Good time. There'll be um. Anyway, we know that which five books there will be, that the the I guess the stories will be based off of. Say cheese and die, the haunted mask, the cuckoo clock of doom, and go eat worms, and night of the living dummy. The haunted mask is my favorite book. I love that book so much. Uh, can't wait. I will, I will be definitely watching that show. Yeah, and and uh. I guess Disney Plus is it'll be called Hallow Stream and Hulu's Hulu Wing. When does it start? I guess October. Um and Freeform will have October th- part of the channel's thirty one nights of Halloween programming. So oh, yeah, and if you want to watch the first two episodes um free or what kind of, what is first two episodes on T V instead of a streamer, they'll be airing on Freeform. So on October 13th. What Freeform used to be? I have no clue. There's been like several different... Was it? So you'll be able to watch it on Freeform if you have cable, I guess. Is CW still around? Yes. Okay, I think that link. Because Freeform's cable, right? Yeah, but it was, so, it was two other things to put up. Because Amy, you all, that's what that uh, Pretty Little Liars used to come on. All right, well, Dude, I have no clue, bro. For all these Saw fans out here, y'all, um, Saw is Saw One and Two is coming to theaters for double feature ahead of Saw X premiere. So these are the cities you got: Arlington, is that Virginia? Yeah, I believe so. Asbury, Virginia; Austin, Texas; Charlotte, Virginia; Charlottesville, Virginia; Chicago, Illinois; Corpus Christi, Texas; El Paso, Texas; Katy, Texas. Laredo, Texas, L.A., New York, Raleigh, North Carolina, San Antonio, Texas, Springfield, Missouri, Missouri St. Louis, Louis, Missouri, Washington, D.C., Westminster, Colorado, yeah, uh, Winchester, Westminster. Winchester, Virginia, and Woodbridge, Virginia. So that's the only places you can see these two movies in theaters again. Uh, just double features. Oh, and these are all on September 16th. Uh, well, there's a September 20th, a couple. Of, just go to Joe Blow's website, Saw and Saw 2, and you'll see it. But that'd be pretty cool. If you want to see Saw 1 and 2 in theaters again, you have your opportunity ahead of Saw X premiere. You know what I saw a picture of? I think it's, I hope it's, it was probably either Cavity Colors or I can't remember the other t shirt company. They're ha- they have an X t-shirt for the movie X. Yeah. I was like, dude, that looks awesome. I look so rock that shirt. Mm. His shirt looked cool. Did you see it? Yeah. So the Crow reboot um, with Bill Skarsgård. Uh, it's funny because even in Pigeon Forge. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to bring up. We went to uh, the box lunch. Yeah. And uh, this girl was just like, I don't think, talking about, you know, Bill Skarsgård being the crow, they shouldn't mess with the 
original. The common theme that you hear about any, and which we probably said multiple times. Um, but as far as the crow goes, it was a great movie. Um, but I mean, with Bill Skarsgård, he's thin. His facial expressions are good. You know, people didn't think he could pull off any wise. Yeah. He's got the, I mean, because he's thin, he looks lanky. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> people didn't think he could pull off Pennywise. He did a fantastic job. Oh, yeah. So, um, with him moving into Eric Draven. Is it Draven? Eric. Or Drake. Oh. Uh, sorry, I don't. I, I'm mixing up uh, characters here. Uh, it but, says Draven. Eric Draven, yeah. Draven, okay. Uh, with moving into him, I think he could pull it off. Uh, and essentially, this movie isn't for us. You know, like, if you grew up with the original... Made this is a new generation. Yeah, it's moving into a new generation. And it could actually be a good story. Like, if they redo it, and like like some people were commenting online, like, well, maybe they'll stick to the actual comic book. Yeah. You know, and make it canon more... Because people that probably read the comic book probably hated the movie. Yeah. There's a good chance they didn't like the movie because it wasn't exactly, you know, like people you hear now that don't like Marvel movies or DC movies because it's, it's not the same. Because it's a fucking movie, man. Yeah. So they this, have to change stuff. Yeah. So this yeah. is talking about the Crow reboot. Did you say that? Takes flight. At Lionsgate as part of an eight-figure domestic deal. So Lionsgate will now be distributing this movie. Let's say when. I, it's not in production yet, is it? I think it's already been filmed. If they are, if they bought, did they buy the rights before the movie's even done? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They were saying on IMDb. Give us one second, give me the... Is it just called The Crow? Yeah, see, and even right here, it says, uh, we appreciate that the Crow character and original movie mean to legions of fans and believe this new film will offer audiences an authentic and visceral reinterpretation of its emotional power and mythology. It says uh, expected March 28th of next year. So it already had to be filmed. Yeah, um, that's... It'd be kind of weird that it is filmed and nothing really got, I don't know. Guess we'll see. Yeah. We'll keep you posted on uh, The Crow. Now we Are got... you looking forward to it? That's the question. Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Are you looking forward to you have, have you ever saw on that? No. I, there's an alien though right there. So, yeah, so there was a, in Washington State, uh, someone captured a shimmering UFO in mid-July. We haven't watched the video. Um, thought maybe um, we could watch the video, and, uh, and it looks like a balloon. Is there right there? Yeah, it looks Can't like a balloon. Anything? It's always? Oh, there it is. Um, Ooh. more likely, yeah, mylar balloon. It's just flowing around like it. Like it well, it could be two of them. To me, yeah, that looks like two, or somebody let go two silver balloons. But it looked like it was dropping, then going back. Yeah, the helium, the wind just carrying it. Carrying it, okay. Yeah, I imagine that's just two balloons. I didn't even show it on the screen. Which, it would still be cool to just to see it, just to, uh. Yeah, I'll transition back to it. Show the because I didn't have it transfer. Uh, here you go. Yeah, see, oh, yeah, you can see it's something attached to it, but yeah, yeah, like one of the like, wind is, but it'd be cool to see just to be like, man, look at this UFO just to have something to talk about. But let's give them some, yeah. and uh, some more space news, which I don't think of you, yeah, well, I mean, I guess UFO, um, so they have um, the claim. Is that um, oxygen was successfully produced on Mars? If you believe that, um, we're actually on Mars, 
Some people don't. I don't know. I'm not judging you. Um, I can see why you would believe NASA would fake stuff. I can understand. But, um, so they generated 122 grams of oxygen, which is equivalent to what a small dog breathes in 10 hours. So, um, it's 98% purity, um, 12 grams of oxygen an hour. So, um, doubles uh, NASA's target. Um, so, I mean, they have technology that can produce oxygen on another planet. They can upscale it, and then you could create um, domes, and you could have people living on Mars. So the rich are getting the fuck off there. Yeah. That's all that is. Yeah. I don't know what, the re what remains of us, Kit Harrington. Yeah, Wilds and Axe have first looked at what remains of us. So, I don't know what this is. Set deep in rural England, the film is framed from the point of view of Harrington's character, 10 year old. What is this about? Uh, so, if you know Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones, um, once she discovered, once a oh. So this is a werewolf movie. So um, ten year old discovers their mother and father changed once in a month into monsters. Monsters yeah. nothing to be afraid of, it's just something to escape. The girl has to confront the harsh reality of her father's identity and make a life altering decision. Huh. So that's actually yeah, I'm pretty down for that. Um yeah. Watch. Got us a new what remains of us? New werewolf movie coming up. So that'd be cool. Turns into a monster once a month. Don't all women do that? Oh, damn! <laughs> I'm joking. Oh my god! <laughs> so that'll cause some controversy. Yes. All right. So um, I think I brought this up with um, Kieran and Shipka. Uh, it's going to be in a new movie on uh, Amazon Prime and it's going to be a, a Blumhouse movie of course it is and they're going to interest, introduce you to um, the Sweet 16 killer you know uh -oh. they brought you um, Babyface from Happy Death Day and The Butcher from Freaky and The Grabber Black Phone. So, I was talking about Black Phone 2 coming out soon. So October 6th on Amazon Prime, you will be introduced to the Sweet 16 Killer. So if you're a Blumhouse Pictures fan, mm -hmm. you know, like, here's another good, possibly good Blumhouse movie. They're pretty much... Possibly. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you never know if it's going to be good. Happy Death Day I loved, Dude, but I like that type of movie. I've totally never seen it. It's a good movie. The first one, I don't know about the second one. First one was really good. Black Phone was good. Freaky was good. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, they got a, a good track record for the most part. Uh, well, Five Nights at nope. Freddy, though, is going to be the big. Nope was pretty good. Nope was um, Jordan Peele. That was Blumhouse, wasn't it? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong, but. Uh, I consider that a Jordan Peele movie. Oh, it was. I consider it, was that, it was at Universal. I don't care. I still consider it a Jordan Peele movie, not a Blumhouse feature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh... But, yeah, so... Oh, and, um... Um, so it, it will be an R-rated film. So, moving away from PG-13 right there. It's a horror comedy, time travel, it. Oh, my bad. That's universal. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, my goodness. <sighs> Sorry. I'm still recovering from this weekend. We we had fun. But yeah, um, I'm done. So it wraps it up for this week. Yep. Be on the lookout for all the interesting fact. Oh, we tried Python. Oh, yeah. Jersey. So be on the lookout. Uh, be sure to be uh. Uh, following us on TikTok. If you're one of those that don't like TikTok, don't worry. Go to Big Ball Buddy's Instagram. We upload there as well. And on our uh, on Tennessee Horror News YouTube, 
is where we put all the Big Ball Buddies yeah. videos. So, so there's multiple places you can watch. Um, like if we're on our Facebook group we have, um, we usually just put the TikTok link. So yeah, uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram and you can watch the videos there. Big Ball Buddies. Then uh, if you want to, leave us a voicemail or text us at 931-325-9755. And always visit tnhorror.com. And yep, go. and it's spooky season. What are you uh, most excited about like this year? How many haunted houses did you plan on going to? Um, how do you decorate? Like, What are your favorite movies to watch around now? Just let us know. Hit us up. There we go. Well, I guess that's all we got, Johnny. We out. Peace. Doses. Now it's time to say goodbye to the basement guys again. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to this locality to have a heap and helping of their hospitality. Or that is spooks and spells. Take your shirt off. Y'all come back now. Here.